All right, y'all, what's going on? What's going on? Yeah, So today I'm trying these different cereal things. Well, these two cereal things, popcorn and then this one. Okay, so if you're new to the channel, please, please, please subscribe to the channel. Go and subscribe. Even if you aren't new, if you haven't subscribed, definitely go and subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell to so get notifications the next time we post a video. Leave us some comments down below. Let us know if Andrew I see us try it. Thank you, I see us cook. Interact with us because we do like to hear from you. We're going to say grace and get started. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this food that we're about to receive for nursing, for our bodies and health. In Jesus' name we pray, man. I realized that. Oh, I got another one. Hold on. Okay. I got another one. I had this. Uh, okay, so this one is, uh, oops, all crunch. Or no, this is crunch berry. Okay, so Captain Crunch crunch berry. Then I got Twix. This one is just one that just sounded good. Caramel cheddar, caramel yes, cheddar, and then cinnamon toast crunch. Okay. From the stove. I did from yeah. the stove. Oh. Sorry, you got holding your crap on the table. Yeah. I, uh, it still looked like it looked from the Bubby's party. I haven't like cleaned it off. Okay, so I'm gonna try this one first. Uh, we're not gonna look at the expiration date because I have this one for a while, but I wanted Let me see. and I knew I wanted to do like a snack video, but and so I'm gonna, I'll be buying stuff to do videos with and then be forgetting. Well, not forgetting or just I don't know. Get it distracting. No, it was just a little stale. But, no, you don't like it? Yes? You like it? But not really. Well, not really. Now, it is just like a little dusting of it. Uh, but, I rock with you. Okay. Which one are we gonna try next? Um, these. These? What? That's the new one. That, that's the new one. Which one next? Now, this one. Okay. Oh, I so my thought was that basically it's like if you got mixed popcorn, it's caramel and cheddar popcorn. So like you know, get. I'm gonna show y'all. Where are caramel one at? They basically, you know, this this one is the caramel one, and then it's the cheddar one. Oh, I think he might have got it. <laughs> he might have got a caramel one. I'm like what? I'll go go. I somehow I was gonna put a caramel and cheddar coating on the same popcorn, but you know what, girl? I swear for Lord. Hmm. Yeah. I bet he don't like the common one. Reading and observation is fundamental because it literally has a cheddar popcorn and a caramel popcorn, but I didn't see that. I just, my hungry self. Cause we were shopping while hungry purchases. My hungry self, all I knew was that Pommel cherry sounded good. Now these, let me see if I even see. I see like some red specks. Oh yeah, I see some green specks too, but y'all ain't gonna be able to see it because they so small, but. But the buddy will eat this popcorn. He like popcorn. Ain't that right, the buddy? You don't, you don't like this one, huh? <laughs> All right, what one got? Yeah, he really not rocking with the with the caramel. All right, well, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna save what I feel like gonna be the best for last. All right. Oh, so the fruity pebble one. You want some of these? I mean, the Twix one. You don't want one of these? So the Twix one, they got like 
It looked like pieces of cereal on it. Let me find one I got. See? Two of them got a little piece of. I mean, this is like candy coated. Hmm. Oh, okay. Oh, I see. Mm, you putting your mouth on there, huh? Okay. Okay. Fruity with the sweet glaze. And these say. Okay, so these one. These ones have a glaze. Um, yes, one. I think this one's gonna be regular with, um. With just the dust on there. I do. These are right. I just have to put keep these so y'all can see it. These are right. Hey, you know. Oh. And then they got they got cocoa puff ones too. Cocoa puff. Well, oh, so the cocoa puffs has got a glaze on it too. These are right. I ain't even mad at it. for real. Okay. Alright, let's open these. Y'all, I told y'all before that me and Gavin will pretty much try and tell them oh, uh, about to say, dang, anything um, cinnamon toast crunch related, we've definitely tried it. There's some cinnamon toast crunch milk, but it's a cow's milk, and I just while I do still drink the cow's milk every now and then, or at least not drink it, but use it in stuff, I don't really drink it straight. And I still eat cow's milk uh, ice cream and dairy, but like, I don't know, I feel like drinking it straight like that is so different. Okay, this got a glaze on it too. I thought it was just gonna be the popcorn with the dust on there, but hey. If they put them here, try this one. It's cinnamon toast crunch. If they put um this and like that, you know, in a mix of like the different flavor of popcorn. Oh my god! He's getting on my nerves. I'm gonna put his mouth on it. Oh uh, yeah, put it in the thing. You can smell and taste it at the same time, like the berries. Like, I don't know, maybe I don't know how to explain it, but I could smell it through my mouth, like. Let me try um some cheddar. Oh. No, that's a cheesy one. That's cheese. Yes, it is. Why you got to put it in your mouth? I mean, in your nose. I'm going to try a couple cheesy ones here. With the um, I mean, with the, um, oh, I'm going to try all three of them together. I'm going to try caramel senators yeah. mm -hmm. well we know what the bubby like i'm surprised he, he don't like these food on gamma would tear these up okay especially this one and we're speaking of, I gotta get some more center dust because I used to laugh when I made that. Um, mm. I used to laugh when I made that French toast and put all 
one of each. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now I put me this apple tart in the. Well, no, I ain't gonna eat it. Not tonight. I just wrap it up. Eat it tomorrow, so. Oh, yeah. I don't need nothing now. Mm, this one got the cereal on it. I like this combination of putting all these. Oh, I did one of these already. Oh, I want caramel. Shoot. Yeah, I don't want caramel. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Really? Ew. Great sound. I def but I will say definitely this is all very sweet. If we don't like um, you can take a lot of sugar. Yeah. Uh, okay. So I was gonna talk about. Dang. Go wash your hands upstairs. I'm gonna talk about the list, okay? I know y'all don't think this list rolling around on the medias. Um, some chick made a list of unacceptable places to go on the first date, and it's wild, okay? It's completely wild. <laughs> I don't feel like. Well, first, let me, tell me what y'all think about the list. I'm going to tell y'all, of course, what I think. And then, I, uh, now, I don't know if this went along the same lines of the chick who, like, was it her? Or if this list sparked the debate? Or if the, the debate about the Cheesecake Factor or the chick saying that she... Putting whoever on blast or going to she said factory L. This sparked that list. And the Cheesecake Factory ended up being on the list. I just feel like who said that was unacceptable? And I guess they're saying for a first date, maybe afterwards or whatever, as you get into the relationship, get to know somebody that they are acceptable, but listen. What did I say to my brother yesterday? I said um, I feel like you take me to a buffet. You must really been listening to me. You must really know me because you know I like to eat. Okay. I literally the only places that the only place that I have an issue with is that's that whoever's house or like Netflix or. A movie night that I'm involved, you obviously gotta go to somebody's house. That's the only thing that I would wouldn't be that I would be opposed to is going to somebody's house on the first date. Oh no, my pizza! Okay, well get it back on there because no, I just feel like no, we're not going to nobody's house. We ain't coming to my house. I don't go to your house. Okay. Well, I have to say what I haven't done, but I'm just saying I feel like. I'm going to the house on the first. Hey, excuse me. Stop, bub. Okay, one. Ow. You know, going to the house on the first day is unsafe. Okay, because you don't know who. Hey, you don't know who I am. I don't know who you are. Mm, what you on? And so you know, you got to get to know people before you let them into your space. <laughs> Going to this, you uh, the only reason why I'm opposed to that 
Well, well not that I don't understand. And too, I feel Chelsea, like they, very it's, no, you know, it's intimate or whatever. Like, and I feel like too intimate too soon. You feel me? And not to say that people can't have self control. That I'm not saying that I don't have self control or whatever. But I'm just saying like. You know what I'm saying? Let's just go ahead and save that for another time. Save that close closeness for another time. Like being in that close proximity to somebody, you know what I'm saying? But all the other stuff on the this is a fair game, like some people are saying a church event would be they don't feel like that's appropriate for a first date. Like going to church, um, a family gathering. Um, what else? Bowling was on there. A sporting Mommy, event. I gotta play some. Yeah, I just feel like the rest of that stuff on the, like, they was talking about a coffee date. Like, Rich Fontaine, he's so funny. He was like, uh, he just was cracking me up. Like, I don't know if y'all follow Rich Fontaine, he, somebody that just be, I don't know, he's a, he, I think he really became popular on TikTok, you know, um, Instagram too, and he just be saying funny stuff about, um, you know, men and women or whatever. I don't know, I couldn't even explain his skits to y'all, but, or men and women, but also stuff about what's going on in the world too, because every time he, uh, talk about, uh, President Biden and, uh, VP Kamala, he always call Kamala a different name. <laughs> he call her Kamikaze. Um, I don't know, all type of stuff. What's Kamikaze? What? Um, I have to explain it to you later. I'll tell you later. Okay. Uh, it is so funny. So, um, he was saying that he felt like the church, the gym, family get no, was it, I don't think he said anything about family gathering, but it was some, some of the ones he said was. He, he had given that and the coffee date. The coffee date and the ice cream date, he had given that. But I feel like what's wrong with having an ice cream first date? Or what's wrong with going to get coffee on the first date? Like, I just, these things I don't see a problem with, especially being that, like, coffee and ice cream, I think that they're pretty simple. And especially coffee, like, you can really sit there and talk to somebody and get to know them. Like, I don't, what what's the problem? Am I basic? Am I, am I, am I, are my standards too low? Like, what is going on? Like, I just don't feel like the list... I, and and there, I don't know. And it, obviously, you can go to other places outside of the list. There's way more other things to do on the than just those things on the list. But the things that are on the list, I wouldn't be opposed to participating in for a first date. Like, who somebody? So the gym. Like, I mean, I don't work out. I mean, I don't work out regularly, but I feel like that'd be cute. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like that would be cute. Like, I don't know. I just, I don't know. Uh, what else they say? A sporting event? Like, I mean, I can see how that could be. It's going to be kind of loud. Like, are you really going to be paying attention to one another because you're going to be focused on the game? But, I mean, I just feel like that would be cool. I don't see anything wrong with that. You can still have conversation in between and throughout. Um, I just feel like, what else are we doing? Hey, what did he say? Rich Fontaine said, y'all trying to convince me that restaurants that don't got grass on the wall is not good and he said i'm not, he not listening to y'all basically okay and i was crack i felt that and i was cracking up because restaurants do be putting that grass on the wall so that's funny to me but um what else and but the, he said the cheese head factory on there he said and he's like f you too little girl i did waffle house made the list and he was like honestly waffle house probably the best uh restaurant on oh, the best some got some of the best food than any of the places on the list or whatever and i just i would not be like i y'all know i just went to waffle house like i love waffle house unless i mean if it was a place that i didn't like or something like that but like i feel like i like it so i don't know i'm not i don't feel like because you know somebody i follow one of my old work study uh managers he um made a good point that like really all these places are just a backdrop for the conversation and company that you, will be had or whatever you know what i'm saying so like yes. really is you on my is you on the game with me yes okay we better get started
I don't even know what he over here playing some game. Um, it's just backdrop for whatever the like the conversation is gonna be had. So like, do you does it does it need to be a super fancy expensive place or whatever in order to have the conversation that's gonna be had? I don't feel like it needs to be like. I mean, that's not what gets my attention. Like, really, I care about how I'm treated. Like, so I could care less about. The money that you spend on me, if you create, yeah, cause somebody could spend all the money on you and treat you like crap. And like, what quality of anything is that? I don't want that. I want to be treated like I deserve to be treated. Like, yeah, period. So, um, I don't know, but I just want to ask y'all about that. See if y'all saw the list or whatever. I should have had it up. I probably could Google it. Oh, he listens. See if he even noticed that. I all right so cheesecake factory applebee's what's wrong with applebee's like come on let's stop my brother was like well, when was the last time you actually like went to applebee's spent your own money like not for a company event i feel like me and the boys went me and at least one of these boys went last year sometime like i don't have a problem with applebee's chilies what's wrong with that like why y'all i don't know yasmin had a problem with that because that's her her family's like traditional like when they when there's a celebration or something to be had birthday whatever their tradition is to go to chili's which i absolutely love um chipotle i i would totally go to chipotle olive garden i mean now while olive garden is overrated like there's nothing wrong with going to olive garden like i remember with you olive garden like if you was able to go to olive garden you was hey y'all have money okay now we know it ain't it ain't what it is but the movies what's wrong with going to the movies like i would totally go to the movies for a first date like okay yes granted you probably won't be able to talk much or whatever but i feel like it'll spark some conversation afterwards like y'all can talk about the movie that y'all saw or whatever uh, or you could be going to a, a thought-provoking movie whatever like i don't know i just think like that's cool any fast food chain i really don't care listen y'all know i be eating at these fast food chains all the time so like I wouldn't care. Like, we could get we could get the fast food, go to the park, and have a little picnic. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't really don't care. Buffalo, what's wrong with B Dubs? Why are we doing that? Like, wing stop. Well, you can't really sit in a whole lot of wing stops. Like, it ain't a whole lot of place. So again, you have to take it and go. Like, but I mean, picnic or something like that. Red Lobster, what's wrong with that? Okay, I'm definitely y'all know I'm here for the all you can eat shrimp. So you definitely, what's wrong with that? Uh, a buffet again if you took me to a buffet i'm low-key my fall in love with you i'm just saying because listen all you could you under you get me okay like i'm just playing on the fall in love part but i'm just saying like you get me if you take me to a buffet i hop i absolutely love i hop i hop has some of the best pancakes to me um as far as like brunch spots and stuff like that like the like they just take their pancakes remind me of my dad's pancakes and that's why i love them so much I love their pancakes over Denny's, over uh, Bob Evans. Who else? It ain't a whole lot of places that have better pancakes in my eyes, like, than IHOP. What's wrong with Denny's? Okay, like, Denny's is my jam as well. Uh, the gym, I, he said, I think he said, like, 14 through 17, I think. So, the gym is, no, Denny's is 14. The gym is 15. Church, I, I mean, church, I feel like, if you've already and then also when are we talking about this birthday having happening you know what i'm saying has it been, how long has it been or whatever i just don't think that i don't think that church is it, it is a bad first date or whatever obviously you going to go praise the lord if y'all got the same beliefs then what's wrong with going to church together you feel me like going to go praise the lord what's up starbucks again i don't think there's nothing wrong with that another co a coffee date don't see nothing wrong with that ice cream dates he said Rich Fontaine said they got me. They they got us with that one. Like he'll he'll do those because he feel like those ain't like date spots. But I think anything could be a date. Like what do y'all what what do people think a date is or what is it supposed to consist of in your eyes? And like what why can't these be? Uh, I feel like you can make a date out of anything anywhere. You feel me? Except for at your house. Cause I'm at your house. Um, Lo well, and Seven is your house, and we already I already told y'all about that family functions. He said, "When was the last time uh, somebody's uncle asked, is that you, young blood, about you?'" He said, "Sat at home somewhere, whatever." <laughs> 
But I just feel like, hey, okay, he asked, you know, you going to go meet somebody family, like on the first date, shoot, he, they probably, it's a test to see, it's probably a test to see, like, uh, if the family like you, because, hey, they probably, what if they think, like, you know, family is super important, and if you don't, if the family ain't rocking with you, I ain't rocking with you, or whatever, like, hey, I mean, I don't even know, but, or, you know what I'm saying? Some some people family are just like could be good discerners of people's character and judgment and everything and they probably like uh yeah, like yeah, that's you. You should do that. Blase skip. Like I just don't I don't see anything wrong with that. Um movie night, i.e. Netflix, Hulu, etc. That again, my only problem with that is not like on the first day, like we're not going I'm not going to your house on the first date and you're not coming at mine on the first day. Somewhere that requires a long drive. What's wrong with that? I What's wrong with that? I don't know. I feel like what's wrong with that? Because, I mean, that's going to really tell, be a telltale if, you know, y'all can, you know, you know, keep each other's company. If y'all can hold a conversation, if y'all can be around each other, what the vibe is, what the energy is. Now, granted, again, yeah, because if it's not a long, good, long drive, you got to and from okay but then you just know that it um but yeah just after the drive you just know like all right we ain't it ain't, it ain't this ain't that no more um bowling what what's wrong with that i don't understand i feel like some of these i've literally have had a first date doing such like what do you mean um nightclubs now okay the only i i don't have a problem with it like but at the same i don't really go out so that would it wouldn't be an option for me only just just because i don't really go out all like that i did go out in greece but while well, you're in greece okay but normally i don't really go out and stuff like that so i could see how you really can't like you can't you couldn't possibly not be able to hear a person or whatever but at the same time i mean Hey, that's cute. Let's go and go listen to some music real loud. <laughs> What's up? Uh, hookah bar. I definitely don't. I don't have a problem with that. I don't do hookah. I don't smoke hookah often. I have before. But um, yeah, I don't really see a, I don't really see a problem issue with that. Um, what else? A bar just for drinks. I've definitely done that. Nothing wrong. What's wrong with that? Like if you meet up after dinner or something like that or you going to for happy hour or whatever just to go and chat real quick before you go what's wrong with that i'm confused waffle house again we're confused in this sport events what well, sports sports events i'm just thoroughly confused on why these are issues for a first day i mean i understand that they're huh i don't really know how to fix that bro could you cover your mouth um yeah i just really don't see why or what the issue with that is so y'all again y'all let me know in the comments what y'all think i think that they just tripping and just are way too bougie and high strong high class whatever for me because and i ain't that it, that ain't me so yeah Mom? all right well that's it that's all y'all i didn't talk to y'all you're off long enough thank you so much uh, thanks so much for watching this video if you like this video give it a thumbs up Leave us a comment down below. Let us know. Things like this, try it. Things like this, cook. Interact with us because we do like to hear from you. And subscribe to Hit that bell so you get notifications the next time we post a video. And we'll see you in the next one. Peace out, y'all. Friends, cook.